Hello, so this is the Olympus OZ and AT OZ. Sorry. OZ80. Yeah, OZ80. Okay, I'm just gonna show the oral condition. The camera is a very nice piece, I would say. Alright, there's a turn on and off button right here. So usually the other cams, right? The on and off button is um like this slight one. But this one is like turn and off. So it's quite cool I think. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and start to you know insert the film and everything. Show the back element, the back element is very good as well. Okay, get yourself a film, and then insert it right here. Put it there. Okay, close the cap. Make sure that it shows number one. When it shows number one, then you're ready to go. Okay. So um I'm gonna show you the shutter. Okay, so there's two LED over there. The above one is 10 sort of flash, the below one is 10 sort of autofocus. So if I'm too near the subject, so this is too near already, you can see that it blinks stuff. Alright, if it's okay, then it will stop to blink and then you can just press your shutter. Okay, so that's how the autofocus and everything works. See, it blinks means that the flash is not working. I mean, not ready yet. Yeah, so wait for it to sit first and then press your shutter. Okay, and this is what you see from the viewfinder as well. Hopefully, you can see it. Okay, and then. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other functions as well. There's um, the flash fill in and auto and auto S. Auto S is the auto slow one, and this one is um, you should just put it as auto like this. Okay, and this is um, the self timer. So I'm just gonna show you the self timer. See, it's not auto focus, okay. So I should it's focused already, just wait for it. It's going to fire the shutter after 10 seconds, so you just gonna have to wait for it. Okay, that's it. And this is for you to change to panorama mode, right here. Okay, push it up to um, have panorama mode. Lah. All right, so yeah, basically that's it for this camera. And then you can change the date here as well. Um, the lens it uses is uh, 38 to 80. Yep, so basically that's it. Now I'm going to rewind the film camera. But usually you don't actually have to rewind it. I just have to wait for it to rewind by itself after you reach 26. So yeah, in this case, I'm just um, testing if the one is still working. Okay, afterwards, you just take your film out like this. Alright, thank you.